I'm going to go through is the colors. All right, so what we have here, when we ungroup something, each one has its own line. So if you wanted to, in laser mode, if you wanted to have something different, let's say I want test to be filled, and I want the circle to be just the outline. Well, then you would uh, you ungroup them first off, and then you would come in here to your colors, which is down here, and you select what you want it to be. So I have test that changes it to green. And once you change it to green, you can change just what's going on with the test here. Right? Is the each one of these corresponds to what's going on. The you have a full the, the, the first button here is your full raster. That's lasering the entire thing out. Your second one here, it will add a contour to the outside of your raster. So it's going to, it's going to go through the middle here, and then after it's done there, it will cut a little. It will just do a quick contour on the outside. All right, these other three buttons I'll deal with cutting out. So this one, this one these will actually cut out from your material. This will cut all the way through your material um, doing a vector cut. So it's just the outline. It doesn't go through the center. And this is a perforation. So it'll cut in, perf in a perforated manner. Alright, so that's, that's what all these buttons correspond to. And as you see, you can combine you can combine raster with different things. Um, so this, you can change the width of your contour. If you have a contour, you can make it larger, smaller. Um, so it'll give you a bigger, a bigger line on the vector. Basically a bigger outline. All right, so I've got my green test there, and I've got it filled. And then I can have my circle out here, to say make it orange. Orange is usually the cutout tool. That's what you use to cut. Um, so I've highlighted that, and that means that'll it'll cut out. See, it's selected here. This is your vector cut. So this is setting the different colors here. And then when you go into the marking screen, you have full control over the power and the speed. So on my raster, you know, I don't need as much power. I mean, it all depends on the material you're cutting for a laser. Um, some plastics you'd do like you would do a lower power higher speed and all in the different power and speed will give you a different look too all right and you can also preview it you can hit preview and you'll see kind of what it's it guesstimates as to how it's going to look so the, the higher the power you do the darker it's going to look if you cut down the power it's going to look washed out and it just means it's not going to do. Um, so, these are each each of these power and speed corresponds to the color. So, like the orange, this is your cut tool. This is my orange circle. So, I would turn for cutting out. Depending, most of the time you want a lower speed, like twenty, uh, depending on the material and a higher power. So, you do eighty twenty, and that's going to adjust how it cuts. And that's pretty much it for the laser colors. All right, now, the rotary colors are something completely, I mean, obviously, you'll have, people with rotary machines will know. Um, don't be more familiar with this screen. So this is the rotary colors. It's, it's basically the same concept, except you don't have a power and speed. So if I want my test to be blue, and my circle can be green, and these are, each one of these is a tool. Um, you know, each, uh, on a rotary machine, you have different tools to cut with. So you would use, say, let's say I want to do just a, bevel, a cut out on the circle. Then you would use this tool. And red isn't really a, a tool we'd recommend using because when you highlight something, it's red. So it's kind of hard to tell what color it is if you turn it to red. And it'll it'll be kind of confusing as to whether or not it's highlighted. But so I've got my green circle here. And you go into properties, and this is where you would change the properties to your tool. 
So here, down here, you'll have a list, and you pick, you'll know which tool you have in there, like you said, an acrylic 005. And, I mean, each tool, has, it's marked on the tool itself, so you, you'll be able to correspond, like the part, it actually has the part number in here. See where it says 34075? When you order the tool, that's the part number you use to order it, and it should be marked on there as well, on the case that the tool came in. So you'd select that, click apply, and that will assign that tool to my circle. So that's a very thin tool. So you'll see it cuts a very thin line if you go to your WYSIWYR. This is a whiz this is what we call a WYSIWYR, the little eye here. This tells you what it thinks it's going to look like. See how test is big and fat looking and it just doesn't it doesn't look right because it's got the wrong tool assigned to it. So to change that we go to our blue tool, which is the test, and then you would change it to the tool you're actually using. And that'll give you a better approximation of what it's actually going to look like when you engrave it. So that you've got your test there. And this is also in here is where you'd set your filling. So you can set it to fill uh, based on the tool. So you would say make your your cerulean tool here, you'd make it uh, for your filling, and then you could just say, I want to fill this, so you make it that color. I want to cut that, so I make it that color. That's pretty much it, and each one of these is its own setting. They each access the tools, and you do all your setup here. That's pretty much it for colors.